All right, we are back out at the mines. Now I've got my bearings about me. We've got some uh, more high-tech LiDAR pins to search. And I realized despite my three years exploring these uh, fields, there's an entire southern extension to a major mine that I've never seen. I'm gonna push through the bush. That's gonna be our first location of the day. One thing I have to say today, I'm extremely sketched out. Last time I was out was only one week ago and I encountered four or five snakes, lots of ticks, and what was meant to be a pretty uh, chilled out Saturday morning stroll ended up being pretty torturous. So I'm really, really careful with my steps today. Well, I promised myself I wouldn't bush bash today, but I'm only 10 minutes in. I do have some tick repellent with me though. Really nice day for hiking. Nice and overcast. I'll be definitely uh, needing to check for ticks when I get home in a major way. I do have tick repellent on today. All right, only 20 meters off my first pin. I think I can see something through the bush. Let's get after it. Well, that didn't take very long. Got the first mullock here. A lot of ground disturbance. And we're almost at the first pin. That didn't take us long at all. Let's see what's going on. One thing I learned from last weekend, whenever you see an opening like this with a bit of sun, that's where all the snakes were basking. Well, only half an hour in, we've got milled mining timbers, and we have the remnants of what looks like an old poppet head or a hoist of some kind. You can see the notches on the timber in there, it's going to focus. These are big timbers lying on the ground. So cool after three years to uh, have found a brand new site. I'm not going to walk directly under that because that looks a bit deaf. I'll walk around it, see what's on the other side. All right, I'm up on top of this mullock. Definitely an old loader, not a poppet head. You can see the notches in the timber over there. Try and keep it steady for you. This would have been a loader or an enormous trestle. See more uh, milled timbers down there on the ground. We'll just navigate around the corner to our first pin. Oh, got some compressor pipe here. Whoa, that is heavy gauge. Wowee. Wow. I wonder if that's the old adit or the old portal up in there. Oh, we got something going on here. We've got a couple of uh, more modern looking timbers down here and the remnants of a massive blower. This signifies pretty significant underground workings. That's where the drive shaft would have gone. This is the housing for the impeller wheel. And one of those would have been the air feed. That's an old one. Nothing's welded. It's all riveted, all of it. This is early 1900 stuff. Those timbers on it look original. That's a good sign. How cool is it finding a new location after three years of exploring the same sites? Absolutely epic, I'm excited. Just looking at this timber here and the fact that it's still dead plum, my guess is that's an air return shaft. Down there beyond those timbers somewhere. There is a big mullock pole over there. I won't be standing on that. All right, let's keep hunting. That was a cool find, only early in the day. Oh, I've got some rebar here. Remnants of an old reinforced concrete water pipe. A little bit more just down there through the bush. Another block down there. This is another one of my pins. 
for the day. I think this is pin number four. Nada. All right, we've got the remnants of a big old shaft here. Probably an air shaft. You can check this out. You never walk on those. But look what's going on up here in the collar. A sinkhole has appeared. That goes down as far as I can see. That's crazy. All right, on to the next pin. All right, picking up a bit of mullock on the ground here. Had some timber infrastructure over there. We found another air shaft. That's four in three weeks. Again, it's got that really weird bluish water. So this one looks pretty turbid. You almost see the clay color in it. There's obviously trees growing out of the collar of it. None in the middle, it's a good sign. But the other one we found was bright blue. That's intriguing. All right, that's all the uh, pins for the extended mine. On to the next one. We've got two more locations today. Here's a cool find. Look at the gauge, actually. Looks more like an I-beam than it does rail. That could be the bottom of it, though. Normally there's some embossed uh, dates onto these, but not on this one. The encouraging thing is the blower is huge and that's almost full size railway line grade rail track. It is rail track because they're the little bolts they would have used. There's my hand for scale. It's pretty big. All right, on to the next location. Well, I found the old adit. Got the remnants of a little house here. Got the remnants of a little cribbed up wall along here. Long gone. Sorry, uh, probably choppy editing for that bit. The little hut that I found was just down there. The main mullock is right between my fingers through here. The big loading trestle is off the uh, northeast of that slope, which means this is the old trail line down to the pit head down to the decline. Obviously long lost now. And just over there is where we found that heavy gauge rail. Now long lost now. So just beyond the, where that water is, that would have been the old uh, portal. Now long gone, guys. All right, so we got four shallow pits here. One through there, one there, and two significantly bigger ones down there. As the coal seam was uh, shallow here, and it dipped down at about 20 degrees, I believe these are the old rooms, out of the old uh, room and pillar methodology. I believe the pillars is where the ground is still all standing, and all of these huge dam-like structures are the old uh, depressions from the seam that's mined below, and the subsequent cave-ins. Very shallow seam here, and it got to about 120 meters deep over that way. All right, on to the next one. On my way to the last few pins of the day, it's really pretty through here. Some older growth mixed in with some newer growth. You've got all these ivies. These ivies run all the way up through there. Got the globe mine mullock sitting through the bush there. We're not interested in that though. <clears throat> We're looking for the last two air shafts and what looks like an adit. Oh, this is the first guys. Golden old uh, power line up there. Brickworks. Brickworks that would have been a uh, concrete lined. 
and we've got an exhaust shaft. This one's signposted. This is a first. I'll just come from the old decline. Picked up on this random trails, first trail I've ever found after three years of uh, trekking through here. It's led straight to this. This is an exhaust from the uh, Dunstan. I've also never found this. Completely caved. That would have gone down a ways. So this would have pulled air up. And then the old little uh, railway would have been pulling air down and into the workings below. And this is the extractor. How cool. Look how old that concrete conglomerate is. A bit of rebar. Old timbers. And this would have been, if we can see the bolts anywhere, there we are. This would have been the, uh, the, there we go. This would have been the boiler foundation. See some more blocks chilling there. So the boiler would have sat there and powered the, uh, powered the impeller via steam to draw air up and out. I dare say that may, may have been the little uh, exhaust tower, what's left of it. Cool. Another new find for today. All right, that's a wrap guys. This one took me forever to find. Just in between these trees here, I followed an old rail spur line. I could see it on LiDAR. It led all the way to this. This is the old portal. What's left of it anyway? So the rail line would have tipped in and driven down there. The old portal would be down there. I'm going to leave this pin for the dry season. And uh, this indeed is the old decline. Would have only gone about 20 metres down there, then would have had to switch around because the coal seems that way. The Susan River's down that way. Although I do think once they got a little bit deeper, they mined under the Susan River. Some, uh, under the river was some of those really good uh, coal seams. All right, that's a wrap, guys. Hope everyone's well. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys on the next one.